Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. is now moving towards armed drones, lethal force in Niger. Y'all, it's going to be a lot of casualties, a lot of women and children and elderly, and it's going to be a lot of death and carnage in Niger. I mean, how many times have we heard of these drone strikes not hitting anybody but the population? They don't take out not one terrorist, but take out populations of innocent people. We haven't seen a drone strike that wasn't like that yet. My hearts go out to the people, people over there in Niger because they don't know what they're in for. Once the U.S. started using these um, drones, it, this is really bad news for them. The Trump administration is paving the way for lethal strikes against terrorists in Niger as the U.S. military pushes forward with a plan to arm the Reaper drones that fly over the country, multiple U.S. officials told NBC News. France has already decided to arm its drones in the region. U.S. documents show and the move to arm U.S. Reapers has been under consideration for some time long before this month's ambush of a Green Beret unit that resulted in the deaths of four American soldiers. And you know, there is a thousand U.S. soldiers right now in Niger. But the incident, <laughs> details of which are still coming to light, is fueling an urgency with the Trump administration to take more aggressive steps against the terrorist group that are operating in North and West Africa, according to the intelligence and military officials. In the wake of the attack, the U.S. has been pressing the government of Niger to, <coughs> excuse me, to allow drones at the U.S. bases in that country, three U.S. officials say. This is just bad news all around for the Africans. Now, you're talking about two countries in there with armed drones, the French and America. This is just going to be scores of black people being taken out. That's what this is really going to add up to. You know, I just wish Africa was not so powerless to all of these parasite countries being in there raping and killing and taking all of the resources and you know they're going to do the same thing if they have the chance to get into north korea you know north korea has tanks and and they have um also have i think like the second largest poppy fields in the world in uh pyongyang that's what they're after. So you can best believe that, you know, the, the ones that are going to suffer the most in this whole thing are the African people. It really is. And they're saying there have been U.S. drone strikes reported in Libya and Somalia, but most of Africa have not been part of the U.S. Uh, drone war but now you can best believe Niger is being added on. It's going to be added on. You know, they are reckless with those drones. It does not get the intended target in most cases. Oh, I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description box. You know, and they still, now they're saying that the, um, Green Berets were in there fighting ISIS um, and Al Qaeda that's in the country of Niger. That's, that's the um, explanation they're giving for why they were there. I'm not fully buying it, but you can tell me what you think in the comment section. Please leave 
your comment and subscribe. And if you can make a donation to my channel, please do. Peace, family.